Hi everybody, this is Judy from Fox City's Quilt Company and this is Sunday from the Sewing Room. Last weekend our shop vented for the Darting Needles Quilt Guild show at Fox Valley Lutheran and one of the comments that people, one of the things that people commented the most about was this super cute little bag that we had hanging up and this is the zippy bag from Sally Tomato. Um, and what people were saying was, I love this, I wanna make this, but I'm so afraid of zippers. So in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how not to be afraid of zippers. They're a really, really cool uh, thing that can make a great design element. And it's not the same as putting zippers into clothing. So like, you know, how your zipper looks in your jeans or in your skirt, it's often a hidden zipper. Zippers are really cool now, and they have lots of design elements. And the zipper that I used in that bag was this one from Sally Tomato. It is a blue gun uh, tape with a gunmetal coil, and it also has nine zipper pulls. So this is like yardage of zippers. It is three yards and it has nine zipper pulls. So on this particular bag, I needed four 12 inch uh, pieces of zipper because there's a zipper on the back as well and so I was able to cut it using this zipper tape and I'll have enough left over to make yet another bag and I don't have to go out and look for more zippers. So zippers are come in all different colors of tape which is the t uh, the outside of the zipper and they also come in lots of cool colors of teeth and zipper pulls. And there are lots of fun things that you can do with them. They are really now um, a quite the eye-catching design element rather than something that's so utilitarian. So in this episode, we'll talk about how easy it is to install a zipper and how you can make them work. So the first thing that I've done is I've prepared my zipper and with the Sally Tomato Zippo Tape, you get three yards of it and you get nine zipper pulls. So what I've done is I need four zippers and I've attached four zipper pulls to the Sally Tomato Tape. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut four segments of zipper according to the pattern directions. Um, so, and what you can do is you can just go ahead and just cut that with your rotary cutter. I know that because I've made this bag before, I know they don't have to be spot on. Um, and because we end up cutting some tape off. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these with my rotary cutter. If I need to, I can simply just move this zipper pole down in order to cut the length that I want. So I'm going to cut these at about 11 inches. It says 12 inches um, on the pattern, but because I, like I said, because I made this bag before, I know we don't quite need 12 inches and I'd like to save the rest of it for another project that I wanna do. So um, there is my third one. Oops, gotta open my rotary cutter. There's three. And here is the fourth. So I now have four zippers that are ready to go into my project. So I'm gonna prepare my other pieces and then I'm gonna come right back and show you how to attach these zippers to fabric because it really is so very easy. So now according to the pattern directions, I have trimmed my zipper um, a half inch past where those markings were because now they want me to put on this uh, prepared zipper casing. And what that does is it's going to go on here nicely and it's going to finish the ends of my zipper so that it looks really nice and neat. And what I like to do is I like to hold that with one of my little binder clips. I really don't like to pin it because it's just a lot of stuff to go through. So I have uh, the two zipper casings and you can just eyeball it so that it goes into the middle. And so it goes into the middle and then I am going to put that uh, 
binder clip by the wonder clip on there and now I am going to I'm going to edge sew this right across here according to the pattern directions. If you want to, so that you can get closer, you can trade out for your zipper foot. And I think I will do that so that I can uh, get it nice and close. And here is my zipper foot. And I will attach my zipper foot. And it, lets, it just lets me kind of see it better. And I actually think that turning it this way is going to make it work even a little bit better. So I am going to stitch right across there, close to the edge and right across the teeth of the zipper. And I wanna make sure that I sew through the entire thing. And again, this will make the end of the zipper look really nice and finished. So there's one edge. And let me show you how that is stitched. And then I'm going to do the other side. And again, I really feel like this is the best way for me to stitch that. I'm gonna try and do a little straighter stitch for you this time. And then there's the other edge. And it looks nice and finished. So according to the pattern directions, I'm gonna be clipping this off even in a little bit, but it is really that simple to sew across that zipper and make it have a nice casing. Um, the side is a little crooked. I might go back and unsew that and sew it again so that it looks a little neater. Um, but when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to attach the zipper to your fabric. It's really super easy. So once again, this is the pattern that I'm making. I'm making this zippy bag and I'm gonna make the larger version. And the first direction in the pattern, other than cutting your pattern pieces, is they're having you mark the top main zipper. Um, and they give you the directions on how big you should mark these far apart. And so I have marked them with a chalk pencil because um, you know I wanna be able to see it on the dark tape. And they are going to have me stitch across there. So it's kind of a stay stitch so that your zipper doesn't go anywhere. But I wanna show you how easy it is to sew through that. So I have my, just put my zipper foot down and I have my settings at about two and a half stitches per, uh, two and a half millimeters. Um, I have it a little bigger for a bag, so and I have some coordinating thread in here. So let me just quick show you how that will work. I just, I'm going to start at the end, and I might have to lift my foot a little bit, and I am going to just sew right across that zipper. And those are nylon zippers. So it's not hard to sew across. It's not like you're sewing across metal. And I'm gonna go back and forth a couple of times. And I'm gonna go once more. And for good measure, I'm gonna do that one more time. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that thread. And then I'm going to do this. I wanted to show you what it looks like. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to put that stay stitch in there. Sew across. I'm going to sew back. And then I'm going to sew across one more time. And cut that thread. Okay, so now I'm ready to do a pocket on my um, zippy bag. So according to the pattern directions, I have cut, this is my lining and I have cut the appropriate size of my lining. And I have used Wonder Clips again to uh, attach my zipper so that I can baste it to my lining. We're only gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance because later when we attach this part into the bag, the outside of the bag, we're gonna use a 3 8 seam allowance. So it's gonna, this uh, basting stitch is gonna be hidden. But again, this is so simple. And again, I have it attached with binding clips and I'm just going to do a one quarter inch seam allowance. And I have that, my quarter inches marked here on my 
um, sewing machine. And I, I'm just using my zipper foot just because it's easier and I'm gonna be using that for a little bit. And I will take out my binding clips as I go, or my wonder clips, I keep calling them binder clips. I just have school supplies in my head. And I'm just gonna sew this all the way down. And I'm gonna go right off the edge and don't worry that this zipper is longer. They're gonna tell you in the pattern later how to cut it and trim it so that it is the right size for your bag. So that is one side. So I am going to now fold this up and away. And I am going to now do the other side. So don't forget this is the lining. So the lining will be wrong side out because it will match the wrong sides of the bag and right sides together for the inside of the bag. And I'm going to just put my binder or my wonder clips on here one more time, making sure that the edge of my pockets are lined up. And let me line that one up and lining up the other raw edge with the edge of the zipper tape. And I'm gonna stick a wonder clip on there. And another one. And you will repeat, and I'm gonna sew this, and you'll repeat this process for all of your pockets. So let me quick sew this one on. Using a quarter inch seam allowance. And it is literally that easy to attach your zipper to your pocket. If you want to, when you get to the end of the zipper tape, you can certainly take a back stitch. That's fine too. I don't really worry about it because I know that I'm going to be putting that inside. It's gonna get another seam across here. So as you can see, if I pull this open, there's my pocket. That's the inside of my pocket. And I'm getting, I'll be ready soon to attach this to the outside of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete all of my pockets. And when I come back, um, I'm gonna show you how those easily get attached to the outside of the bag. I've completed all of my bag or my pockets now, and I've marked each one so I don't lose track of them. And I have just marked them with a friction pen. So this is pocket A. Here's pocket B, and here is pocket C. And so when I go to iron this, this will cut just come right out because I've marked, like I said, I've marked it with a friction pen. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble this front part of this bag. So um, we can do all three pieces pretty quickly here. So what I'm doing is this is going to be the top section of my bag. So it's this piece right here. And I am going to attach that to my pocket A. So what I need to do is I'm going to put that right sides together. And I am going to make sure that my raw edges line up. And I am going to put a wonder clip on there. And then, a start, pardon my reach, and then I am going to put a wonder clip on this edge, on the other edge, and make sure that that is lined up. And then I am going to put a wonder clip in the middle. I love these wonder clips when I'm doing bags because I don't have to do a lot of stabbing and poking and there's really easy uh, to manage. So on each thing that I'm going to do, I want to make sure that my zipper is on the same side of the bag on every single one of these. So my zipper is on the left because I'm right-handed and I will pull to my right. So now I am going to sew this using a full 3 8 seam allowance and I will backstitch at each end. And um, again, I'm just gonna use my zipper foot. You may have to move your zipper pull out of the way when you do this, and I'll show you how I do that. 
So I'm gonna put my foot down here and I'm going to sew. So if I have to move my zipper pull out of the way, I'm just gonna move it that way just a hair. And I'm just gonna keep sewing. And then making sure that your uh, pocket is out of the way, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to finger press this down really nicely. And so that it looks like it's nice and finished, I'm going to edge stitch it right here. And I'm just going to leave that zipper foot in there and go ahead and edge stitch this. I'm going to move this down a hair and then I'll, I will move it back later. So I want it to look nice and finished, so I am going to go ahead and edge stitch that. I hope you can see what I'm doing there, and I will bring it up in a second. Now I'm just going to leave my needle down, move that zipper out of the way, bring this back down, and just edge stitch that. So it's going to look really nice and finished. show you what that looks like. So now I have the outside of my bag and look how easy it was to install that zipper. So now I'm going to do the opposite side but I've got I need to make sure that that my pocket is out of the way and I'm going to uh, be doing this section right here and I'm going to do it in the same manner that I did the first one. I just need to make sure that that zipper pull is out of the way when I go to sew this. So I'm going to make sure all of my raw edges are lined up, stick my wonder clips on there, make sure that pocket is out of the way, another wonder clip, and I'm going to put one in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and sew this. Now, I when I get down here, I will probably move my zipper pull out of the way. And we're going to take a nice 3 8 inch seam allowance. I'm just going to keep sewing here and I'm getting close to that zipper pull so I'm going to leave the needle down. I'm going to turn this a little bit and move that zipper pull out of the way and complete this seam. I think I will go ahead and take a back stitch here. And there is the second part of the bag. And so again, I'm going to keep that pocket out of the way and I'm going to make this look nice and finished as well. And I'm going to do an edge stitch along here. I just hope I don't run out of thread. zipper pull so I can sew that nice. And I'm 
getting close to the zipper pull again. So I'm going to lift my foot up, move that zipper pull out of the way, and go ahead and finish that top stitch. All right, so there is the first two sections of my bag. So right here, and there's my pocket. So to so show you where I'm at with that, I have this part and this part sewn together. I just need to add another pocket, which is pocket B. And we're gonna do this all the same in the same manner again. I'm going to, I gotta make sure I got this right. I'm going to put these right sides together. I want the zipper pull to be on the left side again. And then I'm going to line up all of those raw edges. This raw edge to this raw edge, the pocket and the and the uh, outside of the purse. And I'm going to put some wonder clips in, making sure everything is lined up. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew this one. So here's pocket A, and now we are attaching pocket B. Okay. And this goes so very quickly because it is so easy to attach these zippers. And I'm gonna sew all the way down, get to the bottom, take a back stitch, and now once I open that up, I'm gonna make sure, oops, once I open that up, I'm going to make sure that this pocket is out of the way and I want that nice finishing stitch to go along here as well. So as you can see, both my pockets are out of the way. I got one to the top and one to the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and do that top stitch. I do want to make sure that I have that zipper tape under there so that it makes a really nice finished seam. Take a back stitch. And so there we go. I now have this part, this part, all finished and completed. All I need to do now is attach that bottom section. So I will quickly do that for you. Let me show you how that is done again. I'm going to move the pocket out of the way. I want pocket B to be out of the way. I am going to put the main section of my bag, the bottom part of my bag, right sides together with my zipper. I am going to use Wonder Clips, lining up all of the raw edges. Those are all lined up. Just get that clipped and one in the middle. And we're off to the races with that 3 8 inch seam allowance. This 
sure doesn't take long to get the outside of this bag done. It is so simple, it's so easy, it's so fun. And let me show you how that looks. I'll take a couple back stitches here. All right, and I'm gonna flip this out, making sure all of my pockets are out of the way. And I'm gonna give this a nice edge stitch. And that's how easy it was to make the outside front of that bag. Isn't that cute? And it was so easy to put those zippers in. So now you'll just follow the directions for the bag. You're going to do the same thing in the back. And um, I'm going to quick assemble that all together. And I'll come right back here and talk to you about finishing up. Again, we have made in just that short amount of time, the whole front of this bag. I finished my zipper bag, and here it is all complete with the uh, really nice design element of the zippers. There's one, two, there's one on top, which is three and four zippers. And as you can see, there is my lining with my pockets. It was really a very simple bag to make. And with one Sally Tomato zipper by the yard, I finished this bag, this bag. That's a total of eight zippers. And I'm about to finish a little cute little circle bag. So that's nine zippers. If you were to go and purchase nine zippers at a total of let's say three bucks a piece, it's $27. The Sally Tomato Zipper by the Yard is $15.95. So not only have you saved money, it's super easy to use, but you've also saved enough money to buy the half yard of fabric that you need to complete one of these bags. So we're gonna do another follow-up video about zippers and the design elements that you can get from zippers. So watch us next time on Sundays from the Sewing Room. This is Judy from Fox City Quilt Company and thank you so much for watching.